best game from Sunday. And the first run of the game is an RBI single into right field by Trevor Story. Great piece of hitting. one nothing, Rockies. And a liner to deep center. What a play by Yonathan Daza. Makes his own attempt to look like Willie Mays. The catch. Very impressive play by Daza. Josh Fuentes has been an RBI machine for the Rockies. And he gets another one here with a liner into left field. Base hit. Another double for Fuentes. He had three on Saturday and then another on Sunday. Then here's Jonathan Daza at it again. A Catal Marte single. Would it be single into center field? It is still enough to drive in the run. And then you have Paven Smith crushing the ball right field. See you later. Two to one Rockies. Excuse me, two to two Rockies. Three to the Diamondbacks have the lead. Throw home. Not in time, and the game is tied at three. Going to the ninth inning, Daniel Bard keeps the Diamondbacks scoreless. And then Trevor Story, center field. Is it far enough? Yes, it is. Ball game over. Rockies win on a walk-off homer. There are four walk-offs on Sunday. This is the only homer. It's shy of 200. Sitting on 199. That's to 173 games. Juan Benilla has the record. Fastest to 200. High drive. Deep left field. Hit number 200 for Tatis. His home run number 51. And the Padres take a 1-0. And Tatis rips it into left field for a base hit. Profar will score, and the Padres are on top two to one. Fernando Tatis Jr. drives in the go-ahead run. Swing oh, yeah. in the bat. One grand slam on his resume, and of course it started. Slam Diego last year. Fly ball center field. Lewis going back. Look it up. This is still Slam Diego. And this is Fernando Tatis Jr.'s world. A grand slam puts the Padres on top. Eight to one. So the umpire was already in the favor of the Rays. They had gotten one nothing on a close pitch walk. And then Joey Wendell with an opposite field home run. And the score is now 5 nothing. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. with the first bomb of the game. One, it's 5-2-1 Rays. Vladdy with his first bomb of the game way out of here over the batter's eye. In the center field. Then you got Teoscar Hernandez making it back to back. Ryan Yarbrough at this point of the game. Through 3.1 innings. Had given up three hits. But all of them homers. Vladimir Guerrero in the 8th. 5-3 is the score. And he ties it up with his second bomb of the game. Then here in the 10th. 5-5 Austin Meadows to right field. Base hit. And the score is now 6-5. As Taylor Walls will score. He's been very solid coming up from the minors as a shortstop for the Rays. you got to wonder when it'll be Wander Franco instead of him. Manny Margot to right field base hit or Rosarina jogs home. And it's 7-5 in the 10th. Is that the game, though? No, it's not. Marcus Simeon to right field, and that's gone. 7-7 tie in the 10th. Now we go to the 11th inning. And the Rays scored seven in the 11th. First is a single to left field by Francisco Mejia. Two runs score, 9-7. He has been very solid in the series. A lot of clutch hits for the, in the series for the Rays against the Blue Jays. Then you got Randy Rosarina, right center field. That's a double weight. It gets over the fence. Nope, just kidding. Got you again, and it is a double for Rosarina. And another run will score. What a, I mean, seven runs in the inning. The Rays really 
did great that inning. Then a Baltimore chop to Bichette. Can't get him at third. Gets Austin Meadows at first, but a run will score. 11-7 raised. Then Manny Margot again with a, another RBI back-to-back innings. Right center. Yet again, you get to see a Rosarina jogging into score. It's 12-7, make it 13-7 as Brandon Lau will score. And then Manny Margot will end up scoring here on this Michael Brasso. Baltimore chop base hit. I mean, that is the epitome of a Baltimore chop. And it's 14-7, the Rays with the lead. And right field, 14-8, final score, ball game over. Strike three called on the outside corner. Second strikeout for Woodruff. Outside corner at the top of the strike zone. Struck him out, 97 on the outside. There's strike three. So if, he's, if he's slow going up, then he's going to ring you up. Yeah, if he stands straight up, it means I don't like that pitch. <laughs> From what he had done at the end of 2018, the better part of 2019, had a good year last year. Teams know about Brandon Woodruff now. Strikes out O'Grady. A big zero for the Grand by Pena. Got him looking. And no argument from Pham on that one. Woodruff coming back at 98. Going back in there. Grounded to first. Keston here has got it. Flips to Woodruff. And another clean. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with 98. Brandon Woodruff. Strikeout number seven for Woodruff. 14,000 strong here in Milwaukee on pitch number 100. Struck him out. Seven scoreless for Brandon Woodruff. So here's the best game from Tuesday. First out of the game is a three pitch strikeout there from Rich Hill to win Merrifield. And the ball game has started. Andrew Benatendi with a drive to left center, a notable play, a great play by Kiermeyer. And no, it wasn't Austin Meadows who caught it. It was Kevin Kiermeyer who came across and kind of made, you could tell he kind of made Meadows a little mad. Meadows had it and then it kind of ran into each other, but still a great play by Kiermeyer. Don't know how he kept his focus on the ball. Yandy Diaz with the first run batted in in the game. RBI is single up the middle. Brett Phillips had just stolen base to get to second and got to third. Then Carlos Santana ties it up with a bomb to left center. And it's a 1-1 one, one game. Andrew Benatendi gets robbed by Kevin Kiermeyer again. Only this time, it's a home run he gets robbed of instead of a double or triple. And the game's still 1-1 one, one instead of 2-1. Great, great catch. Now it is 2-1 here. And grounder, double play, ball game over. See ya. Longoria drives it, left center field, hit well, and out of here. Center field, Longoria, home run number six on the season, and the Giants lead 6-0. It looked like Marte was going to walked Homer and single. Longoria's got another hit, and Posey's on the move, and Posey is coming in. Longoria picks up another RBI, and the Giants lead seven nothing. Yeah, I, I got Here's a comment by Bauer on the Astros. I'm not going to let them forget the fact that they're hypocrites, cheaters, and they've stolen a lot from other people and the game itself. Well, Jose Altuve did not like hearing that, so he just goes to left field and he's like, yeah, sorry, Trevor. See you later. I honestly agree with Trevor Bauer, but Jose Altuve didn't like that comment. Max Muncy in the right field, base hit, throw home, Tsutsu go will score and the game's tied 1-1 Dodgers 
and Astros is going to be a classic from now on. Correa with a smoker to left, and it gets gone. 2-1 to one is the score. Now here's a key error. Grounder is short. Maldonado reaches first because Gavin Lux throws it over Albert's head. And Altuve with a chopper. Seeing nice single in the right field. Throw home by Mookie Betts is wild. And two errors in the same inning. And the Astros have scored. It's 3-1. And then you get Oled Diaz with a smoker down the left field line. It will get out of here. And 5-1 Astros take the lead. Uh, big home run. And that just shows you how big those two errors were. So 5-1 Astros. Then you get Sheldon Noisy with his third Dodgers homer in left center. And the game is is 5-2, and that's how it will end. Brian Abreu with the last out, 5-2, Astros. Against with Merrifield, and there's a swing and a miss. Comes back with that breaker, nicely done. Yeah, you, you could third. see that one. Round to see out on strikes, strikeout number three, Dyson. Chops it toward the middle. This is Wendell, and they got it. Joey Wendell plays shortstop tonight. That is not an easy play. Listen, Dwayne, you're, Dyson runs. I, I mean, is there anybody faster in the game? Not, not many, if there is. Look how quickly he's got to get rid of it, and look how close it is. Love and fire, and how about Diaz? Two and one to count to Nicky Lopez. Ground ball. Diaz make it 10. Breaking ball in the dirt. Zanino down to first. De Lopez is out. 2-3. Two, the 2-2 two, two. runner goes. Swing and a miss. Fastball. He fired that one right by him. Santana's is out of there. On... So the first run of the best game from yesterday is on a great play by Hayson Kim, but a runner from third will score. Willie Adamas is the man with the RBI, and then Avisayo Garcia grounders short. It gets by Tatis, who makes one error, and then a throw home. Wild past the catcher, so two errors on the same play for Tatis. So that's not good, but he'll attempt to make up for it with a double down the left field line and score is 2-1. Now I do want to point out that Willie Adamas was just traded from the Rays to the Brewers. and He has a monster game. Eric Hosmer gives the Padres a lead however with this oppo taco. It's the other way left center and it's gone 3-2. Hosmer has been great for the Padres in his career. And then Willie Adamas is like, yeah, thanks. I'll just take the lead right back. 5-3, a huge far homer. And now he has four RBIs in the game. What a game for Willie Adamas it is. And then Tatis Jr. with a blooper into left. It will fall. Kind of a cheesy hit. But it's still a single and an RBI for him. 5-4, the Padres don't want to give up. And then Manny Machado up to the plate with runners on the corners. Into the gap, great to see him healthy. He is my favorite player, but the game's just better when he's playing it and he comes off the bench for a pinch hit double and one run will score, but the throw home gets Hosmer, so it's just one, not two runs. And then Jackie Bradley Jr., bottom of the 10th inning to right field. Is it gone? No, but it's off the wall with the runner on third. That's all they needed, and final score, 6-5, to five, Brewers win. start his major league debut at none other than Yankee Stadium pretty special moment there he'll look in towards the plate a lot he is not shy oh two and there's a change up to get him swinging nasty stuff as Manoa strikes out Odor here's the three two and he got him look at that swing how late judge was might have been sitting slider and Manoa strikes out judge his hand and volunteer every single time 3-2, and he gets him with a backdoor slider. One down. 0-2. Oh, 
And a fastball to get him swinging. Two down and strikeout number four for Manoa. So now the 3 2, and he got him swinging. Threw him a slider to get Odor. Five strikeouts through three scoreless innings for Alec Manoa. Two to nothing, Blue Jays. 3 2. And he got him swinging for out number two. Noah shook to the four seamer and just blows it right by Brett Gardner. One two to Higashioka. Did he go? Yes, he did. He chased the slider down and away. Strikeout number seven for Alec Manoa. Five scoreless innings in the books. So the Tigers take an early 1-0 lead, and in the fifth inning, the fr first and only run off of Casey Mize in the game, Rugnet Odor with a bomb. Odor at the plate again in the tenth inning. Pass ball, catcher Eric Haas can't get it. 2-1 Yankees, but Robbie Grossman had other things in mind. The switch hitter went to left field, and it is gone. Ball game is over. Three, two, Tigers with the win. They're even down to a glass strike, down a run, full count. Crazy game. Here's the pitch. And he sends one deep to right field, and it is gone. Panic turns on a fastball and hits it way out to right, and the Blue Jays now lead 6-2. to two. First two time Blue Jays, and here's Joe Panic, who's having a big night. 1-2 on the way. And Panic lined to the left center field, and that ball is down. Guriel around third. He'll come in to score. It'll be a long single by Panic to drive in another. This Padres Astros game is one of the best games of all time. First run of the game scored Carlos Correa, opposite field home run, 2 0 Astros. Then Chaz McCormick gets an RBI on a sack fly. Miles Straw with the run. Miles Straw ridiculously fast. And the Astros take a 3 0 lead. And Alex Bregman winds the lead here. It is now 4 0 Astros. And the Astros. Make it look like they've already won the game early. Then Kyle Tucker makes it even better because Jake Cronenworth boots an easy grounder to second, 5 nothing. Astros now at 6-1. Grounder, great play here by Correa to beat out the speedy Tommy Pham. 6-1, Astros still. Then Tatis will pull the splits again. He always seems to do, to do that. But he strikes out, so... Doesn't matter if he does it splits or not, he still strikes out. But Eric Hosmer will drive and run here on a rope to the gap. The run scored goes to Manny Machado, and it's 6 2 Astros. Padres start the long trip back to the lead, and grounder great play by Correa. But Will Myers is safe, and the run scores 6 3. Astros with the lead here, 6-3 Astros in the bottom, excuse me, top of the ninth, down to the last out, and the first baseman misses the ball. Easy pop-up, the game's over, but that error cost them the game because right a couple seconds later, Tatis goes way out of here to left field onto the train tracks. See you later, 6-6. Six, six. We're going to go to extra innings now. Fernando Tatis Jr. is crazy good. And the Padres take a lead on a ground ball double play. RBI double play for Jerks and Profar. But it's still a run by the end. 7-6. The Padres have the lead. Carlos Correa will tie the game up with a double on the left. 7-7 seven, seven in the 10th. I mean... What a game this was. Manny Machado with an RBI. It's 8-7. Padres with the lead. They don't give up. And a run scored in the bottom of the 11th. Down their final out. The Astros were. And it scores on a pass ball. Will Myers takes the lead with a three-run jack in the 12th. And the Padres can't. Excuse me. The, the Astros can't come back from that. Ball game over. 
as the same guy who made the error strikes out to end the game. 11-8 Padres, one of the best games in the history of baseball. Great game. James McCann, who has had to convert to first base this week. The 2-1 pitch lifted in the air to right field. That's deep. Acuna going back at the track, at the wall. It's gone. A home run. James McCann. McCann, it's a line drive towards center, chasing Heredia back, still going, reaching up. It's off his glove. It falls in behind him and rolls toward the fence in center field. McCann gets to second. Now he's on his way to third. Relay throw from Swanson won't be made. McCann slides into third base safely. We'll see if that's ruled a triple. If it is, well, McCann's got the two hard parts of the cycle done. It would be a count. home run. Now the pitch, ground ball, shortstop hole. Swanson slides, can't get it. It's under his glove and into left field. The R races around the score. And it's 7-1 to one Mets. Lindor's fired up at third as McCann delivers again.